Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. And by the way, you are more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to be bitten by a shark. And that's not to make you nervous of both the water and the storms that are on the way for the rest of the work week. It just means be cautious, be prepared. That's why we're talking about the storms now. You know the drill when you hear thunder, go inside. And just like Heather said, don't wear any sort of flashy jewelry and stuff like that when you're out swimming. Because swimming is a great way to beat the heat. And we need it. We're dry out there right now. We were dry today day and it was hot highs of we had a high of 99 degrees at the Jacksonville Airport it was very close to the record it didn't tie the record of 100 degrees but it got close and it's 10 degrees warmer than what's normal for this time of year the 80s will return later this week and that is due to rain but Check this out. High temperatures again, as we mentioned, 99 at the airport, but it was hotter in Mayport at 102 and NAS Jacks got to 101 degrees. Now temperatures are dropping through the 80s down to the 70s. That's where we will see our morning low. And then look how quickly we warm up already 90 degrees by noon. Highs tomorrow near 92. So at least it's knocking off a few degrees compared to where we were today. And thunderstorms return to northeast Florida on our Tuesday. So we'll start to see some rain chances pop up in the morning and then they'll peak later on in the afternoon and early evening hours. So as for the rest of the overnight hours, we'll, we won't rule out a few passing showers for parts of southeast Georgia. Most of us stay dry and then tomorrow morning, perhaps some showers and downpours could lift into our far southern areas of Putnam and Flagler, maybe approaching St. John's. But then later in the day, we'll start to see more showers and perhaps a few storms pop up across the first coast. However, I think rain chances are more elevated on Wednesday, a little bit more widespread and more likely to see rain on our Wednesday and again on Thursday. It's not an all day washout. None of the days are all day washouts and you're not guaranteed to see rain each and every day. Just know that your chances are much higher than where they have been as we head through the rest of the work week. Now it looks like most of the rain will actually fall in South Florida and they need it. Look at that. They are under a drought, some parts under severe drought, but for us on the first coast, some of us are abnormally dry. We really could use some rain and we take a look at the rainfall totals for Jacksonville. So far this month, we look at that. We are below normal by two inches. And so far this year, We've had about 17 inches of rain, but that's about half an inch below normal. So yes, rain chances are on the rise as we head for the rest of the work week. Now, the good news is, because we do need rain, so at least we're getting some rain, but it's not looking tropical at all. We don't want it in the form of a tropical system, but keep the umbrella handy as we head through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. All right, Lee, thank you. We'll